Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. Merry Christmas to you. Well, it might be past Christmas because I'm not entirely sure we're allowed to announce the secretness of this guitar until January the 4th. Uh, so it might well be Happy New Year. But, but right may now... May the 4th be with you in advance. May the 4th be with you. No, did I say stars. May the 4th or January the 4th? That doesn't matter, it's just the 4th. Or the 6th. Okay. Maybe January the 6th. Anyway, whatever day it is, I hope it's a good one for you because it's a good one for us. Yes. Uh, I'm quite excited about this. Well, go on, tell me why. Well, because this is a new, this is the new CE, you see, and um, <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> it took me all of ten minutes to come up with that <laughs> beautiful Christmas concept for you. Um, it looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Shallow carve, McCarty switching. Look at that bolt-on maple neck. It's it's, it's a bolt-on. Stunneroo. It's a bolt-on, I suppose, version of a custom twenty-four. And it looks and sounds and feels beautiful. Yeah. So back in the day, of course, the, the original uh, CE was introduced by PRS to just be a sort of a more affordable version of their Custom 24. So, you know, uh, this is long before PRS were making guitars out in the Far East or, or had their sort of S2 line going. Um, and I, I'm not entirely sure why it was ever really discontinued, but it, it hasn't been in the catalogue for at least 10 years, I don't think. Mm. Um, but it's essentially, all the same factory as the Custom 24 and all the other sort of USA core lines, so same build quality. Um, a lot of the hardware is the same. It's just a, a rock maple neck uh, bolt-on. What guitar. I find slightly um, different carve. I, I'm not. I'm not sure why they. It's just a slightly more shallow carve. Yeah. is that a lot of guitar players have this preconceived notion that a neck through mm. is a, a better join. Yeah. But really and truthfully, the, the concept of something being better is just really tonally subjective. And actually, a bolt-on neck can do all sorts of interesting things to the tone. It can give you a brighter, snappier tone. And especially when you, when you marry that with, of course, a yeah. maple neck, and then a bit of maple on the yeah. top, and then you get a nice, bright, crisp, and even sounding. And that's the Christmas link ah. sound on your beautiful CE. So the Good bolt on less. doesn't when, make it when a, the neck was crisp and even. Yeah, and and but so bolt on shouldn't be thought of yeah. as, as a you know a cheaper well, thing. All, although ironically, of course, uh, I suspect when Leo Fender first designed that you know the oh it was just that, financial. It, it was it was a cheap and easy it was way and, and a way to do it that if you ever broke the neck, you could just bolt another one on. Yeah, but uh, do you know what I saw? I remember I remember now going back to. I don't even think this was a video, I think, because I think this is pre YouTube and everything, but it, so it probably was a catalog. Um, but there were the PRS, I remember seeing in a PRS catalog, they would take these rock maple necks and they were so um, proud of how, you know, rigid and sturdy this, this uh, rock maple was that they were using. They lent a neck up, so not on the guitar, they lent a neck up against like a a bench like this and then just had a guy jump up and down on the neck to see it. And, it, and it's like, no, nope, didn't That's, break. Just, you know. I couldn't even watch that. I know, but it was just, so so. There, it's a it's a cool guitar. Let so, me give you some tonages. Yes, then. do. So, well, the lovely PRS gentleman who should not be named, who's here with us today, was saying that not a lot of people talk about what happens if you roll off the tone or roll off the volume and all that kind of stuff. So let me just show you so you can hear that being the case. I've got a T Rex creamer through the loop, giving us a little bit of reverb. <laughs> That's what you're hearing there. Other than that, it's just the JSM 100 Lee Series 2203. Yep. 
2203, there you go. I need, I need, I need something about the amplifier. Here is Bridgy Bridgy Humbucker, full volume, full tone. <laughs> That sounds incredible. Yeah. But if we back off the volume. How about, how about I get one of the guys to run next door and grab a, just a custom 24 and then we can let you Oh, we can, we can AB? Yeah. Well, that's a tremendously good idea, Lee. So Uncle Lee had the astounding idea, concept, if you will, of maybe comparing this beautiful bolt-on CE to the, I suppose you call it full fat, full regular fat PRS CE custom 24. 24. Yeah. Albeit with the hybrid hardware, yeah, I can't imagine just having slightly different plated. Well, look, do you know what? You Let's guys leave can, that up to the wonderful viewers. You can debate viewers. forever and a day as to why you think these forever. two guitars sound a bit different. But all I'm saying is we, uh, this is, I wanted to, <coughs> to be able to, rather than trying to explain how a CE24 and a Custom24 might sound different, we thought we'd just show you. So we picked uh, one with exactly the same pickups on it. Um, so the only real differences between these two guitars will be that this is a uh, set neck made of mahogany uh, and it has a five-way switch or uh, i've got a maple bolt on yeah and i'm gonna we're only going to use this on either the full bridge or the full hum uh, full neck positions so yeah. that so, so i'll go like for like is g chord bridge check it out <laughs> Pete Townsend I can't arm help movement at the end of the chord. Who? Slightly more lower mids. Yeah, I and feel. to demonstrate that through a Fender clean sounding amplifier, now on the neck pickup, here is another G chord for your oral pleasure. Aural pleasure. Aurally. <laughs> Come on, buddy. pick are you using? Oh, that'll make all the difference. I am using a Nylon Dunlop Jazz 3. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, back to the demo of the CE24. Okay, so here is all the volume, JCM 800 2203, CE uh, bridge pickup, all the volume, all the tone. <laughs> So naughty that sound, I didn't do the middle position. And I didn't pull this out either, so let's pull that out. Oh, that's beautiful. Is this a tap or a split? Is it a splat? It's a tap. It's a tap. It's a coil tap. Almost like a harpsichord.
I can only apologise for all the Christmas songs that Rob keeps throwing in because I know hey, it's January the 6th at Don't least report, now. But at the moment, um, we're just pre-Christmas. It feels great. La 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 la. And I'm really enjoying this beautiful guitar. So these come in a multitude of beautiful colours. Not quite as many different colours as you can get in the full, in the Custom 24 line. Would you call this, what do you call this, green, forest I green, teal? I think that is Tampus green. Tampus green? Yes, not, <laughs> as opposed to, the gag is there. It's so on the tip of my tongue for a colour that might be red and sound a bit like Tampus. But I'm not going there. But you just did. In no, your I didn't. Of I what didn't. You wouldn't do. I didn't. Um, that's basically it uh, about this guitar. It's beautiful, we love it. Oh, and uh, the only thing left to tell you is the price. So the price is about 1,700 pounds. That was the price genie. That was the price genie. Yeah. Um, so quite a bit less, you know, we're talking, what, eight or 900 pounds less than it would cost you That's to pick probably up, uh, mostly to do for. Mostly probably to do with the labor because obviously, Bolting on the neck is much easier than it is to yeah. carve and, the, 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 and the fit neck, and glue. The neck doesn't have to be uh, finished in yeah. the way that this one is. And That's right. uh, sorry, in the never take price is. as an indication of quality. Always take your own personal feel and opinion as, a, as an yes, indication. Yes, I think you can take. And anything that we you can say, take price roughly as an indication of quality. But Rob well, is completely helps. right. Until you've tried something yourself, try not to form an opinion. Oh, I've picked um, up a few second-hand old dogs that look like a bunch of ass, and they've played great. I don't know what you were talking about then. Obviously guitars. Guitars, obviously. Uh, anyway, look, so for more information on this guitar, I shall put a link in the description below. You can go and find out more. But it's glorious and wonderful and probably in the shops already. Oh, I've been, but, Rob. No, Chapman. wait, wait. Oh. Thank you so much for waiting. We've decided to combine two PRS uh, reviews in this one video. Um, and they're very, very different guitars. So if you've been sitting there going, I've been waiting for the, the, the baritone demo part of this for the last 15 minutes. That's then the baritone. Barry's tone, absolutely. Um, so there are two models for 2016 from PRS that are gonna be baritones. There's this one, which is called the uh, 277 Semi, I think it's called, or something along those lines. Rob, these, I can hear it, back of the class. <laughs> you said Semi! <laughs> um, and it is a, 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 a 27.7 inch scale length baritone tuned to B with enormous 14 strings 14 to 68? On it. 14 to 68 strings as standard, <clears throat> so pretty heavy old strings. Some of the stuff on here you'll notice from other, uh, you know, this is the, the type of hardtail that I've seen used on other PRS SE guitars before. Beautiful, you know, semi hollow guitar, regular kind of six string feeling neck. Um, but incredible tones. Now what I like about this, uh, I'll tell you about, so there's another baritone coming, a more conventional two humbucker, these are P90s, so uh, two humbucker non-semi uh, coming, which I suspect will appeal to the, the guys that just want to play with lots of gain on their amplifier and do kind of gentle. But the reason I picked this one is this is kind of more just for the guy. That, it's way more you. It's way more me. So this is just about having Lee's uh, written something which I think is beautiful, which well, we, he's now going to play to. We jammed that, didn't but, we? So if you just like all your big open chords. And you need lots of reverb. In fact, I'm going to turn my reverb up on this Gigantamo. Is that reverb? Yeah. Uh, and just kind of get these epic sort of, I don't know. My Fender amp is, is, is it likes to be bassy at the best of times, but on the neck position here, I mean, it's like you know, check this. I wish two things. Well, I wish three things. I wish peace upon the world, the end of whale hunting. Yes. 
some other things I probably shouldn't say. But also I wish Alison Moyet would walk in and start singing over you playing that, or Adele. And I wish that the YouTube people through their screens would feel the low end rumbling their bellies. Yeah, I suspect if you're listening to this on your iPhone, uh, you will not be doing this guitar justice. So if nah. you've got some headphones or some big speakers at home, try it through this. But So this is glorious. If you've never played a baritone before, um, I don't find the extra, extra scale length terribly uh, weird. You know, it's, it's, it's um, obviously the point of the extra scale length is to allow me to use these incredibly low tuned strings but still have the tension in the string. You're in um, B standard, aren't you? I'm in B, yes. I tell you what this guitar does beautifully, and again, I think we did it in a bit of a demo earlier, but check out the way this thing goes into do that, feedback. Do the note. Oh, it's just bad. <laughs> So it's kind of, I don't think this guitar is for, I mean this, sorry, what, what, what I do think this guitar is for is absolutely uh, for a guy who's got a six string or a selection of six strings and just wants something different. And I would sit and noodle on this all bloody day, you know, it's just, because it's just different to, to what you've got at the moment. So. Atmospheric, Very kind atmospheric, of. If you had to yeah. do some session work for mm. maybe some kind of landscapey, Clanad, yeah, Clanad, <laughs> Enya, any of those kind of bands. I was thinking the Mad Max kind of ambient, chilled scenes, yeah. which is landscapes, big it's spaces. Just, it's kind of weird. Bearing in mind that this is essentially it's a six-string guitar. All the tuning intervals are the same as a you know a regular guitar, uh, but it just makes you play everything differently. You know, it makes you want to slow down. Just allow the notes to, to swell and ring and I like this a lot. These are going to be about 650, 700, something like that. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. There are two colours at the moment. And also, um, there's a unicorn. Oh! And don't forget, there is a, you know, for you guys that are going, do you know what, the, the whole P90 thing with the semi-acoustic, I don't really want that vibe. Uh, there is just a solid full humbucker version uh, and being announced. Uh, at the moment, it hasn't been announced, so I'm guessing by the time this video goes live, it will have been, but I'll put a link in the description below as well. As well. I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been Baritone Lee. Bye. <laughs>
It's all British.